G'day, Sonia Bernard here, linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. On this chilly day, I know everyone's cold. It's like 43 here, which is probably like really warm for some places, but for us, 43 in the middle of the afternoon, that's cold. Okay, so this week's card class, I'm going to feature the ice cream swirl bundle. And um, we're going to use this and then the dies. The dies are super cute. And of course, this is from the new um, mini January to April mini catalog. This is so fun, this set. I think you're going to love it. And um, now remember, if you want this card class free, there's going to be six cards in this one, um, two of each. Let me show you the cards. Here's one. Whoop. And then this one, and then this one. Okay, so if you want to get this card kit, remember there's no stamped images. You've got all the die cuts, all the card stock. Um, you'll have the ribbon that you need, the, the twine, and um, no stamped images though. And it will be shipped to your door absolutely free when you place a minimum order of $40 or more before shipping and tax using the host code in the description before um, January 24th and then um, I'll get everything ordered and it'll be shipped around the 30th of January. So it'll be shipped to your door and then you'll also get an email with a full PDF tutorial with a list of all the supplies and all the instructions, all the measurements, everything on a, um, on a sheet per card. Um, one sheet per card. It's a tutorial. <laughs> okay, so let's just turn this down and get started. Uh, ready? We're gonna. Oop! I gotta do some magic here. Hope I've done it right. And if I've done it right, you'll be seeing everything not upside down. And let's see. And if I've done it wrong, everything's going to be upside down and it's going to be a fun one. Okay, <laughs> we've got it. Alrighty. So, card number one. I'm going to pull my sleeves up to get started, even though it's a little chilly. So, I actually took this layout of this, you know, having this little section, section here. Um, I was inspired by Pinterest from there. But I've changed um, my card up, you know, by cutting here. If that makes sense so you can it's okay to go on to Pinterest and you know get inspired by someone's layout and um, of course you can case it I do that too you know that when I curate cards for you they're from um, someone else you know and I change it up um, mine so there's nothing wrong with that just if you're casing directly and you're copying exactly what they have please be sure to give credit where credit is due and this one is just a layout it's like nothing special um but i did i think i've done one like this before too where you just cut the edge off so this is basic white card stock and it is seven and a quarter by five and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter so that's the regular size of a card right there, of one side of a card, in American standards. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to crease that. Then we've got our super cute DSP, and that is from the Lighter Than Air 6x6 Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, a lot of fun um, papers in there that you can check out. Um, I've done a... I've done a walkthrough of all the papers, so a video, so you can um, check that out there. Then I've got some, oh, let me give you direct uh, sizes. This is five and a quarter long by two and three quarter wide. Then I've got this fresh freesia piece, and that is one inch wide by five and a quarter long. And I've embossed it with the Basics 3D embossing folder. And in that pack, it's such a great pack, and you'll see me using it a lot because it's so versatile. And where did I? I just had it here a minute ago. You know, I can't put my eyeballs on it. I'll show you in just a second then. Let's get this started. We'll find that embossing pot. It's probably underneath something sitting in front of my eyeballs. But I'll show you that in a second. There are three embossing folders in it. Um, 
and it is a great set to have. So we're just going to put some glue on here and have it so it's about an eighth of an inch all the way around there. You see my, I've got some uh, sweater nails on, I call them sweater nails. <laughs> If you are interested in my um, really cute, super cute uh, gel nail strips, um, I will put the link in in the description to my online store for those. I absolutely love these. And if you do purchase, go ahead and reach out. I've got some great tips on how to apply. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this right here. Okay, now you can decorate the inside however you want, but how fun is that already just without anything even on it? Okay, then now we get out the dies. Now, you know I die cut everything ready to go for you. So this is included in your kit. It's already die cut. And how you get this piece here, this is from Pecan Pie or Pecan Pie, however you want to call it. So you take this double-sided piece and if you've got just say this is your sheet of paper you put it here so you might get a little extra and then put that there and then you run that through the Stampin' Cotton, Stampin Cotton Bottom Machine together to get this piece. Now you might have to trim off a little whatever little extra you put there because if you put the whole thing there or you can just put the paper up to this edge. Either way, I always like to go a little bit over because I just want to make sure that I get the full part, but really it doesn't matter because we're going to cover it up anyway. So we understand that we put those two together and we run it through and then you'll get this, okay? If you run the whole thing through, if you put paper under the whole thing, you're going to get this so it like lifts up. I did not do that with this one. Then we've got our ice cream and I always want to spell ice cream like one word but it's two <laughs> so this um, right here also looks like a poop emoji yes I said it it looks like a poop emoji doesn't it but it is ice cream and it is in early espresso and this one here is what you'll run through in basic white to get this really cute one here, which also makes me think of a boat. If you look here, it's like a sailboat and it's in the ocean. I don't know, I have a, I have a vivid imagination sometimes. But um, I'm sure we could turn that into, I'm sure if we painted, we could somehow make this a little boat in the ocean, getting blown along in the storm of life. Okay, <laughs> getting crazy now. So that is how you get all your bits, but all your bits are gonna be cut out for you ready to go so um, with this one it's not going to take you any time at all all you're going to need is any old sentiment stamp to stamp it you'll have um, a piece of a uh, bubble bath um, card stock and I'm going to use this one because it's already cut here and I did use early express so so all you'll need is any old sentiment you have and you could do this if you don't have Aliexpresso you can use um, memento ink uh, black memento ink use whatever you have in your stash okay and then we're just gonna put that there boom I love the font in that one though it does come from the ice cream swirl bundle very very cute and then you simply get your um, snips and just put that at an angle like that okay and you can make that um, if you want to go a little bit trim it closer you can trim it a little closer like this whatever makes you happy there's no right or wrong okay now we're gonna put this together and it's so easy we're just gonna get a little bit of glue now this, if you use a um, stamp and seal, you know, which is our tape runner, you may want to grab your liquid glue for this. I do put a little bit just on here. I find this top one, the bottom one doesn't really need it, but I find this top line needs just a touch. And then you just line it up and layer it on here. 
easy peasy, right? And it looks like a chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream. Then we're just going to put a little bit right across here. And if you want to know how, how tall you should make it, you should use your card as a guide. Because if you place it, you know, too high, it's going to be poking over the card. So make sure it is fitting on this card and it's going to fit in your envelope. Okay. So we can do that there. Then just on the, um, on the left hand side, I'm going to put some dimensionals. And I am going to go ahead and put one right there over the, the two of them so that they kind of connect together. And then we'll just put one here, one here. And so just running along the left hand side because we want this hanging over the edge. Okay, so you can just peel those off. Now if you wanted to, you could glue it flat down. Um, but I preferred it popped up. It's just up to you. But I think these are fun. I love the color. And oh my goodness, like this could even be like a little birthday invite, right? And then I'm going to um, put dimensionals on our little sentiment. And instead of saying thanks, this could say happy birthday. It, it could be any, any little sentiment here. And how cute is that? And then a little, um, this is another new item from the mini. And it's called Baker's Twine 3 Color Pack. Super cute. So we're going to get, I think this is Pool Party. Don't quote me. Could be Barmy Blue. I don't know the official color. I'm sure it says in, in the book. So this is... This is, excuse me, <clears throat> you know me and allergies. This is my little um, bow maker. And wait, I'm going to go underneath there. Oops. And then turn that. So I'm going to do a double bow right there. And then just trim that. Now, if you are great with bows, then you could just do that freestyle type. But oh, I love my bow maker. Okay. And then we're going to get glue dot. Put this right here. And I've got a cute little... I always, if I do a double bow, I try to separate it a little bit so you can actually see that it's a double bow. There we go. So it looks more like that. Then we're going to get these super cute embellishments. These are called Rainbow Adhesive Backed Dots. And look how fun and cute they are and colourful. Are you ready for spring, Easter? Oh my gosh, yes. Rainbows. Um, I could use my Take Your Pick tool, but I don't know. I'm just going freestyling today. So... Um, this you can get a pack of free embellishments from me um along with this free class when you make a purchase of fifty dollars or more before shipping in tax i will throw in a pack of these awesome embellishments so that is when it's fifty dollars or more before shipping in tax then we've got our winker stella and you are just going to go over the whole thing so i'm just going uh, the way I did it was go in, go in here, and it gives it this just like a an ice cream look, really. Cold, frozen look, which I'm sure some of you are sick of the cold and the freezing. I, I feel bad for everyone up in the northern states, but this is why I live in the south, because I just could not deal with that. Like, give me some hurricane storms and stuff. But snow and ice, oh, I'm not made for it. Didn't grow up in it. I don't love it. So, um, there we go.
but everyone's different each to their own right i know there's a lot of people who like can't stand the heat whereas i love the heat i'm like yes give me more okay there we go that is our first card and we'll just let that dry and how cute do you see the sparkle let me bring it up Let's see if you can see that sparkle oh i'm not even doing it in the right spot <laughs> oh that's what you <laughs> i don't know if you can see it or not but there is a shimmer on there okay card number two now this one was inspired by my sweet sweet friend and she is so sweet melissa faust with this little background here now her card i did this different here this is all different she she wasn't even using this suite or anything she was using a different suite and um sorry my dog's barking because i think my daughter just got home so i've used like different stamps that different colors and all that but i copied this little technique here i saw a card of hers and i was like "Ooh, that looks really really cute so let's get started with this one now this one i try to keep it like less inks that you need but i did go out and use another three inks here However, I'm going to just, on, on the fly right here, I'm going to try something different because maybe you don't have a whole bunch of inks. Maybe all you have is a black. So, so far, you could use um, the black, but the, um, and then this one, you're going to need the stamp set if you're going to want it exactly like this. It, when you purchase the kit, you'll get like a piece of, it won't be this big, but you'll get a piece of this cardstock um bummy blue and you'll get that uh sorry yeah bummy blue you'll get that sent to you but it won't contain the stamped image and it won't be die cut out because it's it's you're going to need that okay to be able to recreate you can take anything that you have okay if you don't have the stamp set you don't like this stamp set you don't want it then grab something in your stash already, and it doesn't have to be a bowl. Um, you could put, I think like Melissa's card had a circle, and then it had some little fruits on it or something. Um, so you can take this and make it into anything, but you can use this, you know, this cardstock that I'm going to send you. So you'll have some of this balmy blue, and then you'll have some um, basic white cardstock as well to be able to die cut out like if you are using this you'll be have enough to die cut out all these pieces i hope i'm making sense there um so this is the three pieces okay let's let's rewind for a second this is thick basic wire and it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then we have a piece of basic white which is three and a half by four and three quarter then we have our little pieces that we're going to play with and we've got fresh freesia lemon lolly and and pool party and they're all one inch wide by four and a half now um melissa's uh, her measurements may be different there were no measurements well i didn't see i just saw the picture i just copied so um i just guessed at the measurements there so um you could change that up if you like now let's just say we don't have those ink colors or you don't have the fresh freesia the lemon lolly and the pool party well let's try something different there's a little ink that a lot of you have if you do versamark and um if you do heat embossing now even if you don't you could even take you know a a black and just stamping the black whatever that you're going to do but we're going to go with this so we're going to take the donuts and then the strawberry and then the cherry so how i did this we're going to do it in versamark this time because you can use versamark to stamp in you just want to let it dry a little more so i stamped it and then put a little to the edge you know, it may just turn out to look exactly like I used with the inks. So it may just be easier, especially if you don't have 
those inks, you know, and more affordable to buy the Vismark. Look at this. Let's put that against the original so you can see the difference. So you see here, it's going to be a lot darker when you're using the coordinating ink color. And here it's a lot lighter with the, um, the Versamark. Oh no, here came my cat. No, 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 kitty. No, here we go again. Every time. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's sitting over the other side. Good girl. Good kitty. So now we're going to do that with the strawberry. It was weird because I thought someone was coming in my room, but it was just the kitty cat. And this one might be a little bit harder to see, but we're going to do it. And I do see it on there. I'm going to show you if you can't see with the camera. I want to hold it up. And I'm going to think it's going to get darker as it dries. So I said, like I said, we're just trying this on the fly. You know, I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe, um, you know, not everyone has all these colors. What could we do differently? So we can see that, right? You can see the strawberry on there. And we're just going to let it dry too. So you can see it. Um, next, we're going to do the cherry. Now, if you uh, have all the colors, then Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, and Pool Party. But not everyone does. It takes time to build up, um, you know, your collection because that is what we are. We're collectors. We collect stamp sets and dies and embossing folders and paper and more paper and lots more paper because we all love paper, right? So, there. So, it, uh, as I am said, it's not going to come out as dark, but it's still going to come out. And you could take your heat gun and um, just heat that up, your heat tool. Do you see it? Yes, I like it. It's got a more subtle look to it, um, definitely. So we're just going to be careful as we do this because then it's still a little wet. And I'm going to take our basic white and we're going to just get our first piece and glue that down to the side. Leave about an eighth of an inch all around. About this much here. Okay, I can still see where it's where I really should have got grabbed a heat tool. Would have been the best bet, but that's okay. I'll just be careful. Then I went to the other side. And again, you can make this section as big or as small as you like. It's just like it's your background. So I said I just eyeballed it. And then started creating, and this is what I came up with. And in this one, you can really see it's still wet. And the, the yellow one is the hardest one to see right now, especially with the camera and the light shining on it. I think if you make it darker, it might. It is very subtle, but I'm hoping that you can see it there. Okay, then I went ahead and I got some of this yellow twine, which is lemon lolly, and I wrapped this around. So I got some of my stamp and seal plus, and I ran that down this, both sides over here. I'm going to put this a little bit to the bottom, it's not going to go to the top, and I probably made this. Um, a little bit longer than it needed to be and I'm just gonna cross it I hope I, whoops, sorry if I wasn't staying on camera there and then cross it over and one more time wait did that wrong there we go So if you find yourself, oh, you're up a little bit higher, you can just put some more there. 
and then trim off the excess if I do give you too much I'd rather give you too much than not enough okay so then you can um, make those wider or you can bring them together to make them skinnier oh, keep drifting off the camera what am I doing okay so that goes like that originals okay, here the last one I just put it flat because all this in here is really popped up so I think it's better just to do this um, completely flat of course there'll be a little bump where that twine is and then just center that in there like so okay so next I got the um, balmy blue ink and this where is it oh no <laughs> I've lost the stamp <laughs> that's not a good look oh dear hot mess express all aboard I've got a, here it is here it is okay <laughs> all right so this stamp which you'll see is right here this is where we get that bowl from it's also part of the ice cream cone so you will gra grab your bunny blue and again you will need to do this part this will not be included you'll just have the um, card stock so you don't need to ink the whole thing up just ink this much and then just pop that on there okay now while you have it there I think this is actually easier to do is got the little sentiment um, hope your day is sweet and I stamped that and go on ahead and pop that down there okay then that's also in balmy blue then what you would do actually I didn't stamp this one yet as you can see so now we've got to stamp this one too so next you will take your die your ice cream die without the inside part and you'll see right here that that will just line up there so actually if you're doing this I would go ahead and cut my paper if you've got extra paper so you're not wasting this section unless you want to cut that out and use it for something else so this part here just lines up with that right and so you run that through your stamp and cut and boss machine run it through and that is going to give you it's going to cut it at the top here and then you're simply going to cut that like this so even if you didn't have the dies you could still just stamp it and then quite simply fussy cut that out if you wanted to okay it's not very hard I mean the hardest part might just be keeping that part here straight but we're covering that part too so if because sometimes people don't like dies they don't have a stamp and cut emboss machine you can always fussy cut okay right there any stamp that you have you can just fussy cut that out okay so if you don't fussy cut it out this is the difference you're going to get it's going to have this little lip here so if you do fussy cut maybe cut a little extra here I did not um, because we are going to add to that let me go ahead and stamp this hope your day is sweet oh my goodness just this kit I wasn't sold on this um, bundle at first I really wasn't and then um, a customer friend of mine because everyone becomes my friend you like, you might be my customer then you're my friend um, yeah she suggested uh, she asked so she's like are you doing anything with the with that ice cream sweet and I was like huh well, I hadn't really thought about it but I guess I will well we're gonna be I'm gonna show you how to die cut this one too well we're gonna um yeah we're gonna have to die cut because apparently I didn't do two of these 
Whoopsie. Okay. So the top of this bowl part right here, what I've done is stamped and die cut one piece out. And then I have either lost it, <laughs> lost my noggin. Um, hang on. Nope. <coughs> So we're going to go ahead and stamp that right there. There is a die cut for this as well. And you will see that this is also stamped here. So I've stamped it in, um, what did I stamp it in? Pecan pie. And then I've colored it in with dark and light crumb cake. Okay, so this is like a, one of those little wafers that you put in the um, in the ice cream right there. So this is the same thing that's going on the edge of the bowl. And we have this one little die. And what we're going to do is just trim this real quick. And let me just grab my little stamp and cut and boss machine. Now this is the mini stamp and cut and boss machine. We do have a large one as well. This one was a um, boho blue join special one. They don't have the blue anymore, I don't believe, but we have the um, the white one in this size. So this is great if you're just doing like a small die. It's called post-it tape. You can find it on Amazon. And we just run this through. These always work better from back to front rather than going from front to back. I don't know why. They just do. And the whole table shakes. <laughs> but you see that die just stayed there really good with that tiny little piece of post-it tape. So... Now we have our second piece. Now, all we have to do here is figure out how long we want this on the edge of our bowl. And we'll go with this. A little bit of glue on the back of one of them. And then, because it's wet, we have time to move it if we need to. And there will be a little um, line there. You'll be able to see it. But honestly, people are probably not even going to notice unless you point it out. There's, there's a lot of things that we see as card makers. Don't put the glue all the way to the end because it's going to hang off a little bit. You know, we see it and we're like, oh, oh no, got to fix that, you know. But the, the recipient, they get it and they don't see it. It's just, they're just like, oh, I just love this. They're looking at the colors. They're looking at all the fun you know, visual parts that you've put on there, they're not going to notice that. There we go. Okay. Let me sit back down. My back is killing me. I've been, started walking because I can't run. I have asthma and it's just too much. Now, when I put these on, um, I did put them on the bottom, okay? And the reason for that is because I want to tuck all the little fun things in so I only want to put dimensionals right here and then I'm going to tuck everything in back behind this but I guess I've overdone it a little bit with my walking and my lower back is killing me like asper cream killing me I'm like oh my goodness this is what happens when you try to get fit okay so this one's actually a little lower than the last one but that's fine we're just gonna pop it down like that Okay, now I'm going to show you um, the fruit that I used. And, well, I don't know what I did today when I was getting ready. I've already used them, that's why. I'm like, oh my goodness, what is wrong? I need to move my coffee real quick. It's on my cleaning pad. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
just another hot mess express day there we go okay so I went ahead and I stamped out these ones already that I've told you about then I stamped out a donut and I used a memento for that um, <coughs> excuse me and a strawberry and a cherry and then I've colored them because we don't want to sit here all day long okay so that comes in the set already okay the the donut I used a light crumb cake and a light fresh freesia the strawberry I used um, the light sweet sorbet and the dark sweet sorbet and a little bit of um, light granny apple green right there and then this one I actually filled in the stem when you stamp it it's got a little like part there but I just filled the whole stem in <laughs> and that's cherry and I used the um, which one did I use the uh, I wrote it down no I didn't oh the dark poppy parade sorry so this is sweet sorbet and this is poppy parade okay then we're just gonna stick them all in and they're all gonna get um, dimensionals I was gonna say embellishments for a second I'm like that's not even right <laughs> so you can kind of put it to the top of the strawberry if this one's too big oh no this one fits we do have the mini dimensionals which are great for these guys here so we have regular stampin dimensionals we have mini dimensionals and we have um black dimensionals that in they come in a packet of both regular size and mini size so they're great when you're working with darker colors okay then now bowl look kind of empty but then when we add this in it just takes it to a whole nother place so we're going to tuck that one behind there and then we'll go ahead and put our donut in and that's a lot of sugar Doop. okay and then we'll go ahead and put our strawberry put that right about here and then now if you look at um, the page for the ice cream swirl there is a card in the um, in the catalog and sorry I'm struggling with mini dimensional adhesive backs here and you will see that um, that is what inspired me right here with this so you can find your inspiration so I did a bit of a mashup I was inspired by Melissa and then I was inspired by the catalog and then I mashed up the card to make it uniquely mine Ta -da! okay so then we can see the difference the only one that um, is really really light is this one here but you can see it when you're holding the card okay but that is what they look like so this one was using the Versamark and this one was using the actual toner and tone inks so if you only had Versamark and you wanted a little bit like um, something darker here you could probably use maybe like the poppy parade and then put the strawberries on that and it would be um, poppy parade would probably go with that. okay whoops just throw them I'm <laughs> just throwing stuff now okay card number three we can move this where is where is card number three is hiding I've got piles of stuff everywhere there we go so this one we're gonna get um, our thick basic white cardstock and it is 11 by um, 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half because this one is going to open up this way then we have a piece of designer series paper so cute from that same um, paper pack paper pack 
which is um, lighter than air. And this is five and a quarter long by two and three quarters wide. And then we've got a piece of bubble bath that's four and three quarter long by an inch wide. And what we're going to do here is just put a smidge down the line right here. There's the school bus. And then we're going to center that. And you can just kind of eyeball that. If you want, you can get your glass mat or your grid paper. Um, the glass mat is a sign-up bonus right now with the starter kit. If you purchase a starter kit, you can get that glass mat studio absolutely free, $60 value, um, and you get that free up until um, February 29th, 2024. So if you would love to um, purchase a starter kit and then get a 20% discount on all your future purchases, well, we would love to have you on the Linked by Ink Far and Wide team because um, it's, it's more of a community, you know, it's a team community. I call it a community. So there we go. We're just going to layer them and glue them. Now, the same thing with these that we did with the first card. It was done exactly the same way, and it was using the Pecan Pie um, cardstock here. And then this is Coastal Cabana here and Pool Party. So this one's the Coastal Cabana, and this one's the Pool Party. And I've just die cut them out. So we're just going to quickly assemble that the same way we assembled the last one. I still see that little sail ship here. Do. Okay, put a little bit on that one and then just layer it down. Oh, may have gone a little bit too heavy on that. I like to center it. There we go. And then a little bit of glue across, across the top here. And then again, use your card as your reference point so you can see where it needs to go. Bingo. And this time we can just put dimensionals all over because it's not hanging off the edge or anything there. And I just like, what am I doing? I'm centering it because it's like too close to that side. <laughs> That's just me being picky. It really doesn't matter as long as it looks good from the front. Okay, dimensionals all over Red Rover. And then we can, I'm going to pop one right there to go a little crazy with the dimensionals. There we go. And then we're just going to put this one down about the center of the card then we have got our stylish sheep's dies because oh, I love stylish sheep's dies if you've been watching me you know I love these and I have several packs because when I'm cutting out your kits I will cut extra so this is not that little die we didn't use that one we use this one right here this outer one to get this little label and then I did want a birthday card, so I went ahead and grabbed a sentiment out of the Hey Chuck bundle, which is from the annual catalog. It's so cute, but um, it's your birthday right here. Just works great for this, so that's what I used. And espresso. Um, you could do it in any color you like. If you have um, Mento, I should say, it's no longer basic black. Um, you could do it in a grey, you could do it in one of these bright fun colours that coordinates with the paper, the fresh freesia, um, any of those, Calypso Coral I see. Okay, and then again, some dimensionals, whoops, dropping stuff over here, right here, and we'll pop that up. 
and a little bit of sprinkle. How easy is this? I might make a bunch of these because I think they're so cute and then just send them out to friends. And then again with some bling. Um, should be using take your pick tool. Might be easier just to pick it up in all honesty. There we go. Maybe not with the big one. <laughs> Let's just flip that over and plop it down. There we go. <laughs> Until I went to a card class. And all the people on my team, I didn't know them until they came to a card class or they contacted me and said, hey, do you do card classes? And now they're all friends. It's it's just so awesome. I just love being in a part of this Stampin' Up! community. I think it's just amazing. And um, all the people I've met and continue to meet are just amazing. And they we all have like creating creating in common like we love um doing making cards or scrapbooking or just paper crafting in general and i find that we all love to share that creativity with others and to bring you know um happiness to others through our creativity so it's just such an awesome thing i just i just absolutely love it like if you had told me 12 13 years ago Oh, one day you're going to be filming and being like, um, I think you've got me confused with someone else. Like, I would never do that. I was too shy. I wouldn't even talk to people. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep to myself over here. Even though I was, you know, more apt to, I was fine, at, you know, like working at work. Um, I was a helicopter mechanic in the military. So I was mostly around, you know, males, um, males and they're just very okay whatever gun ho but um if you had told me that i would have a bunch of of mostly female friends who just love to craft and love to hang out and love um creating cards oh, i seriously just would have been like oh, okay i don't think so but yeah there's i've got so much to be thankful for um, with this Stampin' Up! community and I just love it so if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of then reach out to me um, even if you want to call me um, talk if I can't answer straight away I'm, I'm probably doing something um, but if you want to talk and get to know me more um, and see if you know joining um, our community as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is something that you would like then reach out um, my number is eight four three seven five four two five six five i know because i get a lot of telemarketers calling but um if i don't answer please do leave me a message or text me um that way i know that you're a real person too because there are so many scammers out there as well that um you know like i said uh just random calling random people calling my number but there we go so that is my ice cream swirl card class for this week um, if you want this this kit sent to you, make sure you place your order with me using the host code below by the 24th of January. If you want these fun nails, check out the link to my order store. They're really a lot of fun, but do um, reach out to me or I'll reach out to you because I've got some application tips to let you know about. And um, there we go. I hope you love it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. Stay warm out there. It's a cold one. Okay, take care, guys. Bye now.